Hello and welcome to ExcelExperts.com. Today we're going to learn some VBA. We're going to learn what a for loop is. Now the way I've explained this is suppose you go to a farm and the farmer has 10 piglets and he asks you which one is the heaviest. Well the way you have to do that is you have to look at each piglet in turn and then you can make your decision on which one is the heaviest or you have to weigh each of them and note the answer. So what, what does that look like in code? Can we write it? Well, yes, we can. We click on our sheet here. So notice I've, all I've done is I've entered piglets 1 to 10 and I've given them some random weight. Um, we can recount that. It's just a random formula. Um, so I can redo that anytime just to make sure this is working. Press Alt F11 to bring up the VBA editor. Right click and go insert module. Uh, now we need to write the routine that will find out which one is the heaviest. So we'll call this sub, as in subroutine, find heaviest. Okay. Notice how the VBA editor creates the end sub for you. So code has a beginning and an end. In, that ca in this case, this is the beginning and this is the end. So what we're going to do is to start writing the code. So first thing we do is type max weight equals zero. This initializes this variable here, which is max weight to zero. Then what we're going to do is if we find a piglet that weighs more than zero, we'll then set the max weight to greater to, to that value. So for each the piglet in, I'll bring this back here, range C7 to C16, range C7 to C16. Next, every time you write a for loop, you need to write next. So for each something in something else, next. So what this will do is it will loop through each cell in that range. Based on knowing that cell, we can then test various things and find out what's the heaviest piglet. So we can do this. If the piglet dot offset zero rows, one column, which will pick up that cell there dot value is greater than the max weight so far then we want to set the max weight equal to that value in diff I'm going to add some tabbing okay let's step through Ah, one of the other things we want is a display at the end. So this will be in the case in the form of a message box. Message box MSGBOX heaviest piglet weight. And let's copy this, paste it there and step through the code. So to step through the code we just press F8. We find that we can hover over a variable and if we press F8 it will tell us what it is at each point in time for each of the piglets. So piglet is empty right now. If I press F8 it then knows that it's piglet 1 because it's saying for each the piglet which could be a cell in this range C7 to 6 C16. So in this case, we're looking at the value of C7. If the piglet to offset 0, 1, so that's the next column from here, which is its weight, is greater than max weight, then set max weight equal to that value. So if we look here, we've got max weight is 0.76. So in that case, 0.76 was greater than 0. Now the next one will also be set 
as will the next one, as will the next one, but not the fifth one. Let's see that. So F8. So yes, we found a new maximum weight. Yes, we found a new maximum. And again, but not that one. So 0 0.91. Okay, so the maximum weight is 0.91. Let's have a look. Yes, it is. Hit F8 to end the sub. So we can recalculate this. Press F9. Go back here. And run the code again. So 0.97. Where would we find that? Yes. So there we go. That's a for loop. Thank you. ExcelExperts.com